Hey there, Jack and Jill Motorcycle out there in YouTube world. We're back with another one of the Airhead Maintenance 101 videos. This one is on changing the transmission oil. Once again, very straightforward. It's one of those things that pretty much anybody can do. You don't have to have a lift. You don't have to have any special tools. As a matter of fact, you only need two tools. You need an eight millimeter Allen socket or wrench if you've got a lot of forearm strength. And hold on, let me check my notes. Uh, I didn't write it on this piece of paper. Uh, I think it's either a 17 or a 19 millimeter socket. I definitely say what it is in the video. Uh, I also give you the torque values for those to drain the drain and fill plugs in the video. I know, shocking, right? But it's a 50 year old motorcycle. The torque values aren't changing. Nobody's keeping them secrets from BMW. There's not a lot of variance between the individual models. So it's a little safer to give you torque information. To, do, to change the transmission oil, you need one quart of 80W90 gear oil. You can use 75W90, some people use that. I like to use 8090, and you need one quart. You're gonna use almost a whole quart, 800 to 850 cc's. You need two crush washers for the transmission. The crush washers are two different sizes, so tell your parts dealer you need a 300 and a 200 and just use any gear oil that you think is reputable. I use Lucas gear oil, which I've used before. I've used all sorts of different brands. You'll see that the oil that comes out is not the same color as the oil that goes in. That is not important. What's important is the weight and the quantity and new crush washers. So here we go. This is not the drain, this is the fill. For the transmission, the final drive, the drive shaft, you always make sure you can remove the fill plug first because if you can't remove the fill plug and you take the drain plug out, you've emptied out all the oil and you have no way to get it back in. Always, always, always remove the drain or the fill plug first. This is the same eight millimeter hex that we used on the oil pan drain. There we go. And you might get a little oil come out when you take the drain or the fill plug out because it does fill right to the bottom of the, the thing. And this has a crush washer on it, so you gotta pay attention to that. The drain on the transmission is right here and it's a 19 millimeter. And once again, looks like I got some oil going on back here. So I'm just gonna clean that up a little. Feels like it might be a little bit cross-threaded, which is not good. So you wanna eyeball your oil as it comes out. And you can see this is red. It's just a brand. And it looks nice and clear, which means there's probably nothing wrong with my transmission. And I probably could have gone another maintenance cycle without changing that oil, but better to change it and not need it than need to change and not do it. And this is the key on the transmission magnetic drain plug and you look at the end you want to see a paste if anything and that's all that is that's just a little paste there's no splinters of metal in there which would be bad that would mean my transmission gears were starting to come apart so for your transmission your crush washers are two different sizes the big one goes on the fill plug the little one goes on the drain plug that one smashed as shit i definitely over torqued that this is from the transmission drain and you can see it's cupped I definitely over torqued that when I put it on. So I need to make sure I don't make that same mistake. And yeah, it went back in fine. So I don't think it's cross threaded. I think it's just a sticky spot. So according to my list here, the transmission drain goes to 25 Newton meters. I'm gonna set it to 24 because I do tend to go a little strong. So that'll get it between 24 and 25. Actually, I'm gonna set it to 24 and a half. According to my list, we, fill the tr we torque the transmission drain plug to 30 Newton meters, and we're not gonna torque it until we fill it. To fill it, we're going to use one of these. 
which has a dispenser lid. It's a little small. I think we're gonna cut that a little uh, farther down. And what this does is it lets us measure how much is going in and it's calibrated in, it's hard to see, milliliters. We wanna put in 800 milliliters, which is almost a full liter. The first 500 milliliters go in easy. We'll see what happens to the next 250. That'll get us to 750. I've tucked a rag here to catch any drip out because it does come up right to the bottom of the fill hole. I'll be a little gentle with this 250, even though I know it takes more than this, just in case. easy so the last 50 is going to be the messy one. This is usually when I make a mess. Now I'm not entirely convinced I got the right amount in there because it's not up where it should be. So you want to see it hit the threads and that's how you know when you got to the right spot. Gonna torque that to I'm gonna check my list again. Transfill 30 Newton meters. Hopefully, you saw that changing the transmission oil was really easy. The only complicated thing is getting it into the transmission, and only because that might be a little messy if you're not careful. Um, the transmission, there the gear oil for the transmission cost me, I think, $12 for the quart and then another couple of bucks for the crush washers. So you're looking at about $15 worth of cost for this thing. Uh, and the only other thing you need is a drain pan and a way to dispose of the used gear oil. Now used gear oil, you can dispose of the same way you would dispose of used motor oil. So you can take that to any recycling center or you know pickup location or whatever. Just make sure you transport it in a sealed container because that's how you're going to have the best success. Thanks for watching. Come back, ask questions, like, subscribe, all that stuff. We're here for you on helping you take care of your motorcycles. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, there we go. Crush washers go in the garbage.